Hey guys, it's D. Um, all right, this is for the sign of Libra for September of 2018. Uh, two quick announcements is that, yes, I am giving away the free readings again this month. So go ahead and um, in order to enter, you just have to hit the subscribe button and leave a comment below. Um, that's how I choose the reading. So make sure you comment on the video. Um, you could also watch your moon and rising signs. And if you're cross watching, you can comment on the other videos in order to win chances to win. Uh, to have better chances in winning a free reading. I pick one from each sign for the month, okay? Um, also, you know, we're back into September, back getting into the swing of things, buckling down a little bit. Um, I am offering healing sessions at a very significant discount. Usually they're $95 for 45 minutes with me, but I'm offering it only for the month of September at $65, okay? So get that in as you can. I will leave the description or the link for the PayPal me um, in the description below. All right, so let's get started with you guys. As I'm shuffling the cards, I was feeling that um, slipping back into the old ways of thinking, okay? Um, I feel like with Libras, we had gotten so far and now it's like, you know, two steps forward, one step back. But in your mindset right now with that one step back, it's a significant step, but it's not. It's how you're looking at it versus how, what it actually is. Okay. In our journeys, that's always how our journey goes, right? Two steps forward, one step back. It's like you get forward, but then you come back. Well, you're still taking one foot forward, all right? Two minus one still equals one. So you're still moving forward. So just because if you slip back a little bit doesn't mean that you're off your journey, off your path. You can't do it. But what I am getting for you guys here is like you keep saying, I, I'm trying. I just can't. I just can't. I can't do it anymore. Like I keep trying. I just can't get there. I can't do it. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. It's that mindset that not accepting of what is or where you are and that you're meant to be exactly where you are. It's that I keep trying, but I'm just not getting there. So I'm going to give up, right? So the two cards that popped out here are the strength card and the seven of swords. So right now it's time to have patience right now. Like sometimes like I'm feeling like, um, you know, it's like you make significant progress and then sometimes you just sit still because you bask in what just happened. You bask in what you are. If we keep moving forward, 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 like we're either going to get there really quick, but we miss everything in between. So if we move forward and then just sit there still and say, okay, I'm not quite where I want to be, but I've made progress and I'm moving forward. And then once you get your energy back, right? And then you start to move forward again. And then you come to a plateau and you sit there and you say, I'm okay with this. I'm, in, I'm basking in this. I'm embracing this. I'm basking in how this feels of where I'm at right now. Then when you get your energy back and you feel recharged, then you move forward again. And then you plateau again. That plateau does not mean failure. That plateau does not mean um, you're not moving forward. It just means that now you get to embrace the steps that you've just went through. So patience. Patience and strength. And then you have the seven of swords here, which to me right now is your energy is all over the place. It's all over the place. You're looking at the wrong things here. You're looking at everything that's going wrong versus everything that has gone right in the past, okay, month or so is what I'm getting. You have made significant progress. Don't backtrack yourself. Be confident. Be secure in where you're at knowing that you've made progress. You might not be where you want to be, but you've made progress, okay? Because you got the Page of Swords, and I feel like this is being a little bit um, on edge. I feel like this is being a little bit um, um, mean words to yourself, um, putting yourself down, okay? But like I said, you're on a journey with this Fool card. You're taking, you, no, you took the leap of faith. You already took it. You're in the middle of this journey, beginning, middle, okay? You're on it and stay there. Do not backtrack because you've got the Knight of Cups right next to that and the new Ace of Pentacles right next to that. So there's action being taken here. 
there's somebody coming your way. There's something coming your way. Remember, this is a general reading. So however it resonates, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But there's action of love here. And there's a new beginning of security and, and um, safety. So keep on the journey. Do not let the negative thinking, do not let the old patterns come into play anymore. When you feel them arising, cut it down. Be that page of swords, all right? Take that knife and ain't dealing with that shit. Ch chop it out, all right? Don't let that negative, the old patterns get in your way because then you've got another knight here. Got a knight of wands and you got the eight of cups. So take the action towards what you want and leave the rest behind, all right? Be the eight of cups. Walk away from the old patterns, what no longer serves you, the people, the thoughts, whatever it is for you. Leave that behind. Move forward, okay? You can see the knight's going the other way. She's leaving it behind. She's walking away. Leave what no longer serves you behind. Stick with what you've learned in the past month or two, okay? Past year, really, but I'm getting uh, the past few months, you've really kind of been striving, all right? Because you got the Five of Pentacles. And to me in this deck, the Five of Pentacles is about taking that time, sitting with yourself and nurturing that inner child, nurturing what you want, feeding it, loving it, uh, investing in it, okay? So don't feel as though things are too good to be true. Don't feel as though you're left out in the cold. Just because you're at a plateau, just because you're not moving forward right this minute, doesn't mean anything's wrong, doesn't mean that you're not on the right path. It doesn't mean that you're not doing something you're supposed to be. You are exactly where you need to be. And you need to feel this and need to be okay with being where you are. Four of Wands, right? Communication. Um, reconciling, e even so. All right. For some of you, this has to do with love because you've got the lover's card down here. You've got the soulmate card. So, and you've got two knights coming in. So, some of you, this does have to do with love. So, if there's somebody on the table, um, and I do, I feel like for some of you, you're scared of this beginning, this Ace of Pentacles beginning, this Knight of Cups, something's being offered to you um, that's been delayed, right? And I feel as though you're worried because you've done so much work to get to where you are and you're scared that somebody's going to take it away from you. But just know that you have that choice. You do not have to do anything. And I want to talk to you guys about boundaries as well in this reading. Like you do not have to do anything that makes you uncomfortable. If it does not feel good, do not do it. Do not say yes. You do not have to say yes to, to every single buddy. People pleasing. No more people pleasing. Please yourself. Okay. You do not have to say yes. If it's a no, if something doesn't feel right, it's a no. It's as easy as that. I'm sorry. I just can't do it. Well, why not? Because I don't feel good about it. And I don't do anything that I don't feel good about, okay? I don't know why I don't feel good about it, but I just don't. And I'm trusting my intuition. And I would have respect if you trust me on this, okay? So boundaries, boundaries. So because down here towards the end of the month, you've got the lover's card and you've got the nine of pentacles right next to it. And that to me, it's like the commitment soulmate card. And you also have the soulmate card over here, but you have your independent card here too. You're so used to being independent, so used to being by yourself that it's hard to trust in a relationship, all right? These are for the single people out there. It's hard. If you are in a relationship, sometimes it's hard to ask for help or to be vulnerable is what I'm getting, okay? But it's time because you trust that you have your boundaries in place. And if it doesn't feel good, then you will know and you trust your intuition on that. So it's okay to be vulnerable and trust yourself so that if you do get into a situation where it doesn't feel good, you will say no. And that person will respect it or that person will be removed from your life. Okay, so there is a relationship coming in your way with the lovers and the soulmate. There has to be. 
right? So there's a relationship. There's somebody coming. This could be somebody from your past with this Four of Wands card here is a reconciliation. So it could be reconciling with somebody from your past. Somebody that treated you well in the past, okay? I'm not saying that there's somebody that was no good for you, did not make you feel good, that's coming back. If this is a reconciliation, it is somebody that respected you, that uh, respected your boundaries, coming back to reconcile for this lover soulmate um, connection, okay? You're going to doubt it. You're going to feel very, very uncomfortable about it because this nine of pentacles and the lovers right next to each other, it, it contradicts itself, okay? You're going to feel like, but wait, right? So don't feel that way. Be vulnerable. Trust yourself. Enforce your boundaries. If it does not feel good, if it does not feel right, if they're pushing you too much, you set your boundaries, Okay, set those boundaries before this comes in. So in the beginning here, when you're walking away from your old patterns, what are your new patterns? What are you um, going to um, accept and what are you not going to accept? Write it down. I'm going to do a video in my Facebook group because then I'll share this with you guys here. But it's like, I had just done this. I just did this. And it's like, holy shit, I can't believe this just happened. But I wrote this all down about what I will and will not accept and who I want as a partner and who I don't or who I want as a partner, right? I want this. I want this. I want this. I want this. Very general characteristic um, quality type of stuff. So I met somebody while I'm in Florida. And to me, you know, I'm like, okay, you know, we're talking and we're talking and we're talking. And I'm getting excited because I'm like, oh my goodness, is this the person, like has the universe brought this person into my life? Um, could this be the person? But then like as we're talking and realizing that he's not fitting really anything that I want at this point, right? But I'm like, oh my goodness, could he be the one? And then, so I took a day and the next morning I woke up and I'm like, what the hell am I thinking? I'm like, he doesn't mean anything that I just said yet. I'm willing to throw all of that out the window because he could be the one and it's exciting and I could have somebody to do things with and all of that excitement overpowered what I knew I wanted. Okay. That's what I'm talking for you. All right. Make sure it's the right person. Make sure that your boundaries and what you want are in play. Don't be, um, because you have the six of cups here and you have the hangman. So don't be blinded. Don't be turned upside down with the thought of your soulmate coming in. Okay. Soulmate or not, if they're not respectable of your boundaries, if they're, if they don't meet your criteria of the type of energy you want around you, then they're not the one for you. Soulmate or not, whether you think the universe sent them or not, they are not for you. Okay. So I want to be clear about that. Your inner child will guide you, your higher self here. That's this card for me with seeing this little girl here, giving the light to this woman. They, these are the same people. It's the inner child inside of yourself, your higher self that guides you, right? So don't be stuck seeing things upside down when you need to turn it around and see things for what they really are. Okay, so that's just that soulmate um, energy that's coming in. It kind of went off track. But what I'm saying is this lovers and this nine of pentacles, if they don't meet your criteria, stay single. If this lover comes in and it's everything that you want and you're just doubting it because of all the pain that you've went through in the past, don't. Be vulnerable. Trust yourself. Trust your boundaries. Okay. <clears throat> so you do have the soulmate card over here in your chakras. So this is red. This is security, safety. It's okay to feel safe with love. You also have the abundance card. So guys, last last month, it, this, it was all about you. I feel like you're slipping back just a little bit, but you need to push yourself forward and say, fuck that. I'm not doing that. Let's go forward. All right. I'm not going back there. I'm not doing it. Past patterns. They're not my patterns now. I don't know who that was before, but I'm living my life a different way. The abundance is coming, okay? It is coming. And the faith, you just have to keep having faith. This is the, this is the third eye chakra, the, the intuition, all right? Trusting your intuition, the abundance, the self-love, self-worth here, okay? Or self-love. 
All right, I pulled out the vampire cards this month, so you've got the enlightenment card. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's see what it says. Inspiration, epiphany, innovation. All right, so if you follow me, you know I read it. So let's get to it. All right, number two. Nice number. Okay, so it says, While a vampire cannot walk in the sunlight, they are no strangers to various sources of light and in fact adore candlelight and the gentle glow of beeswax. They find that working and reading and contemplating by this light is soothing, reflective, and comforting, especially when one is struggling to find answers to difficult dilemmas, as you are now. And so the answer will not come to you by daylight. It will come to you at night, and it will come to you by changing the source through which you expect enlightenment to arrive. In order to find an answer to the troubling issue at hand, you must first change the habits that have brought you this dilemma. You must switch the sources you go to for information. You must consider looking at the dilemma in a new and fresh way. And you ought best consider asking for assistance from one who has great experience with this kind of dilemma. You have until now only sought justification as to why you should not have to endure this trouble, but there is an answer, and it is not an outrage or denial or avoidance. It is in seeking a fresh path through the forest, a light source unlike that of the sun, and advice and and that and advice from one who is previously who were too proud to seek help from. The night has answers for you. Your shadows have the strengths you will need. Turn on a different source of light. The blessing of this card. There will be a shift in your thinking and a breakthrough regarding a difficult situation. You will be rethinking energy sources and creating alternatives for power and energy. Independence and freedom of thought and thinking. Original stance, innovation, and strokes of genius lead to enlightenment. The curse of this card, stuck on mental habits, trying to solve old problems in the same way, refusing to adopt new strategies and listen to advice that seems too new or different to you. My goodness, guys, what have I been talking about here, right? Old patterns of thinking. Working with this card, make time to listen to your inner guidance, which will have bright ideas for you at this time. Attempt to move beyond habitual solutions to issues that feel entrenched. Dare to try something unusual and innovative. It might just work. Forget who you used to be. This is a whole new world. A whole new world. Try different things. Don't keep yourself stuck upside down. Turn it around and move forward. Go down a path you've never gone down before. Okay, this is the exciting time. Stop all the negative thinking. Stop all the too good to be true. Stop thinking, I can't do this. No, pull up your pants and move forward. You guys are so close. You have been making such progress. Do not go backwards. Do not go back to the way it was. Get your empowerment back. Get it back. Know who you are. Love who you are. Embrace where you are on your journey and keep moving forward. You are almost there. You have a short way to go to get to that little space that you're, you're thinking you need to be at. Once you get there, you're going to realize there's still so much more to go and it's going to be exciting. So instead of thinking of this as failure, instead of thinking of this as plateauing and you're not moving anywhere, you're not going anywhere, embrace where you are. This is the time to recharge. This is the time to get your energy back. This is the time that's going to push you forward. So embrace it and be excited as to where you are because the next shift is coming. Much love to you. You want a chance to read, win a reading, make sure you comment and subscribe, okay? You can do it, guys. You're almost there. Just keep at it, all right? If you want an energy healing with me, $65 for September. The link is in the description. Much love to you guys, and I will talk to you soon.